we would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. PROVOBEAST here to do another install today. Today we're working on this 2015 ProMaster Dodge Van. Um, essentially it's the Ram series and what we're going to be doing is replacing the factory radio here with a single den Pioneer radio. Now the keys we have for the job are, they could look like these, you can pick these up, um, pretty cheap. I can go ahead and post in the description the parts we use and also the part number of these keys just so it makes your install easier. Essentially these keys go in these holes here and pulling to the side and locks the little uh, tabs on each side of the factory radio allowing the factory radio to slide on out. So let's go and do that. All right here, so what we've done is inserted the keys. Now you can just kind of they click on here and that has now released the radio as you can see here. Not much to the factory one. And as you can see here, those are the clips that they released on both sides. What you're going to want to do is unplug our harness here, our antenna, and that'll allow us access into the back of the radio. All right, so we got the radio all unplugged. Now I have this harness here. This is kind of a generic Volkswagen harness. What I'll do is post down in the description this part number as well, just so you know exactly what part we've used here in this install. Now, before we actually wire this up with the harness our Pioneer radio came with, I want to show you a couple of things just so you can avoid mistakes and any issues that you may have. Now, um, even though it may fit perfectly, it may not be a perfect wire match. And, and let me tell you why. Of course, this side of things, these are all your speaker wires. Like I said, pretty straightforward. You match these colors up, you're okay. Now, on this side, though, um, generally the red wire, let me grab that here for you. The red wire is your ignition wire, and the yellow wire is your constant wire. Meaning, this one's on all the time, this one's only on when the key is on. Now, in this install, if you actually hook up a voltmeter or a test light to these, they're switched. So... Um, unfortunately, it's not a direct color match on this install. What we need to do when we wire this up is remember that this one actually is our ignition wire because it's only on when the key is on, and then this red one is on all the time. All right, so the radio that we decided to go with is the DEH-X3910BT model. With this model specifically, um, it does come with a can, which we will need in this install because remember, when we pull the factory radio on, this will hold the new radio in its place. This also came with a Bluetooth mic, being a Bluetooth radio, so we'll show you how to run that. Here's our Pioneer wiring harness, and we're just gonna marry most of these colors up here, but remember, since our red and our white are switched, we'll have to make note of that before we connect those wires together. And uh, essentially, that's it here at the test bench, so let's go ahead and get started. Strip both ends of your wiring here. We're gonna use butt connectors and a good crimper and get this wiring all taken care of. All right, so we went ahead and stripped both ends here, as you can see. Now what we've done here is using these back connectors, which you can pick up at any auto parts store online, or uh, even Walmart, I think, carries them. Go ahead and you, after stripping both ends, you insert both sides. And using a crimper, see that little tab in there? Put in a little bit of crimp. And you crimp the metal within inside the butt connector. It's a nice solid connection that's not going to come loose here in the dash. Some people like to solder and heat shrink, which is totally fine. If you're good at that, then go ahead and do so. If you're not so comfortable soldering, this is a great alternative. Now we're going to do the same for all our connections. All right, so what we went ahead and, and uh, completed here is stripping all the wires and putting a good crimp on all our connections. Now just remember, as you can see here, yellow goes to red and red goes to yellow. Because in our actual harness itself, they're switched. If you wired it the other way, your radio would only be on at the wrong time or not turn on at all. So it's best that you wire it this way and this will just ensure that the radio turns on, keeps your radio presets, um, it doesn't reset every time you turn off the car, it's just the best way. So double check your connections, double check the, uh, the actual wire itself and you should be good to go. So. We got that all wired up. Now, 
being the, the type of car it is, you may need an antenna adapter. In this situation we do. This is a universal one. You can get one generally for this car itself. Um, I'll go ahead and post in the description the actual part number for this. But this being a universal one, it allows you to see the type of connection that we need. Now, this is the type of connection that will connect directly into the factory antenna plug. And then on the other end, it creates the Motorola plug that is accepted by our radio. All right, we're back here in the van. So we're going to go ahead and put this to do so. Maybe a tight fit. But really, we slide that on in there. As you can see, we're going to bend these tabs in here to really lock that can in place so it doesn't move around. And then after that, we're going to hook in our connectors to our factory wiring. All right, so we got the tabs all bent. As you can see, we're right inside the can here. Got our new harness all hooked up. We got our antenna plug, the adapter that fits. And then this end goes into our Pioneer. And then let's go ahead and run the Bluetooth mic now. Generally, I like to run it up to the A pillar, um, down along the seal, up and underneath, and then fish it up to the dash cavity. All right, so we went ahead and actually mounted our Bluetooth mic. We just pulled black back the plastic a little bit, slid the mic in, and then pulled the weather stripping back. We then ran the wire all the way down here as it comes out right here. And we'll continue, as you can see, just work it all the way down the weather stripping and what we're going to want to do is work it away up and over underneath the dash here all right so what i did here see that move that around here i just fished a hanger to right there uh hook the cord to it and i'll pull it up and through all right go ahead and connect your bluetooth mic wire your main harness and your antenna into your new radio and just slide it there in the spot all right, so let's go ahead and do a boot up for the first time before we fully slide it in the slot. Key on. There we go. All right. There we go. Some random station on the radio. So at this point, let's go ahead and slide this totally back in. Now you want to slide it in until it clicks. Once it clicks, you're good to go. Let's do a quick test off. If you have any questions about this install, just go ahead and post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching the channel. Remember, check the description for all the parts that we used and um, the unboxing of this radio. Appreciate your support and we'll certainly see you in the next video.